Many raw materials in use today are derivatives of fossil fuels and we are in the process of bidding adieu to them through day-by-day -day innovation in biochemical engineering. 3. Hydroxyproepionic Acid An essential C3 intermediate being dreamed for its converted versions like 1,3-propanidyl acrylic acid, acrylamide, propionitriol, reutrin and 3-HP polymers could be produced indigenously when 3-HP is made biochemically, a new method in redox bioengineering. We necessarily need an indigenous technology to produce 3-HP so that it is available globally as well as locally. The novelty we bring in here for the 3 h production is that we maintain a redox neutrality in the overall production process using a single molecular cloning step and a heterologous recombination so that not only the flux of the overall production of 3 hp is increased, it also increases high titers of 3 hp yielding high value and it can also be used for higher applications. Also, another thing is the good result which is collected from biodiesel industry base is used as a sole raw material for the carbon source for the production process and the overall process that they become sustainable and also economical. Essentially, we stand out from the prior art by solving a major bottleneck of 3HP production briefed as redox related insults to metabolic pathways. It is done in a jugard, in which cells would be engineered to oxidize and reduce simultaneously a renewable feedstock like glycerol to 3HP. Technically, when two simultaneously operating pathways for 3HP production counterbalance their electron donors and acceptors, it could be possible to overproduce 3HP by resolving the redox imbalance issue. Hereafter, it will be awesome for the cells in the reactor to respire and divide while making 3HP without any metabolic burden.